What's up, everyone? My name is Dusty. Um, I'm pretty pumped. Um, I'm pretty pumped uh, that I completed the parametric rope bridge for Blender 3.0 Geometry Nodes tutorial from Arendale. Um, I'll make sure it's linked below in the description here. Um, I'm especially pumped that I completed it because the tutorial was in a previous version of Blender that used attributes, and the current version of Blender is using fields. Um, fields is relatively new. Um, I couldn't find a lot of resources out there yet for it. So understanding the concepts that Arendelle was putting out, trying and finding out what didn't work, then finding and experimenting with what did work uh, was a learning curve uh, um, and was really it was a quite an emotional roller coaster there. So uh, I'm pretty pumped that it actually works here. Um, I thought I'd share my node setup for how I got Arendelle's parametric rope bridge uh, working in Blender Geo Nodes with Fields. Um, so here we go. So if you've gone through the tutorial, you uh, understand there are quite a bit of nodes uh, involved, uh, quite, a diff quite a lot of different uh, sections to this. Um, the first of which um, is how to get that parabola going uh, for the bridge between the two endpoints and uh, the sagging point. Um, the first challenge we had was uh, Arendelle in the tutorial, uh, he uses the attribute mix nodes to mix those values for the location of uh, the two endpoints and the uh, middle sag point there. We don't have an attribute mix node available to us in uh, fields, so we actually have to use a mix RGB node right here, uh, right here, and right here. Um, and that is uh, how we uh, get those values mixed, and we actually create that parabola there. Um, it, it, it's interesting we're using mix RGB here, and I, wa I want to say that we are almost abusing the intent of a mix RGB node. Um, you can see our noodles here, they go from purple to yellow. Uh, so they change color, letting us know that, uh, hey, we got two different types of values here. Um, one, uh, the mix RGB, RGB obviously expecting a color value, but we're fitting it a location value. Um, so, so yeah, we're abusing it, uh, but it's, you know, it's how we make it work. It's uh, innovative. Whatever. We, uh, we had to make it work that way. Um, that's the biggest change to the parabola setup that made that work for us. Um, next, we talk about planks. Uh, planks are way down here. Um, and you see I've got some subframes here. Uh, these these subframes here um, under the bigger frame here, these are actually later on in the tutorial. Um, so if you're just following the tutorial, you won't add these subframes till later on. Uh, towards the end of the table, and they uh, give us some ram randomization of the planks, uh, scale, rotation, uh, removing the random planks and whatnot. They're all later on in the tutorial, but uh, the planks right here, um, pretty straightforward uh, getting those uh, on the screen. After planks, uh, we create the base ropes. Uh, this is what my node setup looked like. Um, After the base ropes, um, the rough ropes, these are what my rough ropes look like. And I got to tell you, I'm not really uh, satisfied with these yet. Um, one of the reasons being when we uh, go to the model here, you'll see my rough ropes here um, on the side here. They tend to flare up at the ends here, and I'm not sure if I care for that at the ends. Um, I don't know why they do that. Um, so if you got a solution there, why the, uh, these rough ropes, they should all be hanging down low. And they start out on the start node hanging down low, um, but as they get over to the end here, they come up. Um, I don't think I've got any uh, translation in there that would cause that. Um, oh, there, there's translation here because I try to fix it. Uh, but, you know, that's uh, my random rope setup. Uh, we talked about the hand ropes, the handrails. Uh, fairly straightforward right here. We talk about the handrail hangers, the uh, the thin lines uh, that go in between the handrails and the uh, base of the bridge, the base ropes that are on the bridge. Fairly straightforward here uh, in fields. Um, then we could talk about the knots, the knots at each one of these. Um, a lot of the fixes here I didn't come up with on my own. Um, I had to drill down through a lot of the comments that were in Arendelle's tutorial find some of the fixes from other users and incorporate them into my node setup. Um, so I can't take credit for much of any of this at all. 
Uh, when we talk about rope profiles, I think the pro the uh, tutorial only has one rope profile, um, which is fine. But I wanted to add a little variety in mine. I thought the uh, hangers here and the hanging ropes needed to be a little thinner. So you can see my ropes have a uh, different thickness between them. The side ropes here, the hanger rail ropes are a little thinner than the main ropes. And I think it looks good. Um, then we uh, talk about uh, making the piers. Uh, once again, basic pier setup here. And then here in the gray, these are things that uh, add randomization later on in the tutorial if you uh, stuck with the whole thing. So good times. Uh, that is my note setup. Um, I hope that, ha that helps somebody. Let me know. Um, sorry, I don't have a cool scene time lapse at the end of my video like Arendelle did. Uh, but if I get around to making one, I'll update the description of this uh, with a link to that cool video. Um, until then, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.